also as a and, and you know, it's my own lack of knowledge, but I went down there. They said, you're down there, every police officer, every fireman, everybody's listed there. So I went down, and sure enough, you know, over 400 firemen are listed, the 200 and something police officers. Um, they have a, a section for um, uh, Port Authority. Port Authority. And um, then they put a, a special plaque up for uh, Officer Wassell. Um, and um, there's nothing for the court officers. So I don't know who paid for that memorial. I wasn't around then. Who did pay? Fire department? Fire department did that. I mean, we don't have the money for that, but if they, if that union, I, I told them I'll look into it, and then when I did look into it and saw all the names, I immediately contacted them and sent them some pictures, um, and I said, you know, I'm not opposed to putting up something uh, there, because um, I don't think the omission was intentional, but that funding would be a problem, and I wanted to find out whose memorial it was, so we could talk to the fire department. And, um, but if they're willing to pay for the um, plaque and, and I didn't talk to them about either paying for it, but pay, pay for the plaque and the installation, it can't be much. Yeah. Uh, that I don't think the council would be opposed to. We could share some of our up. staff to put it in. There are, it's shaped like an octagon, and there are some sections that don't have plaques. Okay. But, um, so, so yes. Is that the same as there, or is it separate plaque? Some of them are, some of them aren't. They're, it's actually the one for Officer Wassel was not. It's kind of like a freestanding. It was done after. Uh, 